Hello everybody, welcome back to Teach Me to Science. My name is Saren and today we're going to be talking about Le Chatelier's principle. This video will be a more qualitative approach to help you understand Le Chatelier's. I will have another video that's more practice problems with numbers. So let's start by defining Le Chatelier's principle. I like to think of Le Chatelier's as a seesaw. Le Chatelier's is a balancing act, which means that if you increase the number of products on one side, you're going to flip the reaction to make it create more reactants. So the basic idea is if I add something to one side, the reaction will shift to make more of the other side. So if I add more reactants, then the reaction will shift to make more products, and vice versa with products and reactants. So now let's talk about how this relates to equilibrium. Le Chatelier's principle is the mechanism by which reactions try to reach equilibrium. Reactions want to reach equilibrium because it's the most stable state for them to be in. So if I tilt my teeter-totter from equilibrium to being more heavily favored towards B because I added B, how would I get back to equilibrium? The ratio of A to B is no longer what it was at equilibrium because I added more B. So to get back to equilibrium, Le Chatelier's principle says that the reaction will make more A so that the ratio is restored to what it originally was. Now let's do a practice problem where we qualitatively think about how Le Chatelier's principle will work. My reaction I2 plus H2 goes to 2HI has the following given initial concentrations. If I add more I2 until its initial concentration has significantly increased, which way will my reaction shift? In this case, I've added more reactants, and Le Chatelier's principle says that the reaction will create more products to reach equilibrium again. This means that the reaction will shift towards the products. I hope you found this video on Le Chatelier's principle helpful. If you could, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Bye!